just uh, got done flying on some um, seed for uh, this native prairie grass planting that we're trying to make this mound area into here. Um, we were fortunate to be able to secure funding from the Wabash River Enhancement Corporation um, to be able to purchase the seed to be able to do this. I uh, got a lot of different help along the way from John Scott and Purdue Extension uh, using the UAV to uh, broadcast the seed. Uh, from Jared taking the video here as well, uh, helping us in that process too. Uh, but also Brianne Lowe, uh, Indiana State Biologist with Natural Resource Conservation Service, uh, gave us a lot of advice and guidance along the way about how to approach this as well. Our long-term goal here is after a few years when it's established well to use it as an educational tool and reach out to uh, local elementary schools, junior high uh, students and teachers and, and hopefully bring some of them out here just to give them a little bit of an educational experience as well. Uh, that real fluffy seed, uh, we had mixed it with that pelletized lime and we mixed all the seeds together, try to give it some care here, try to give it a way to flow a little bit better. That stuff, there was, there was so much chaff, it just still couldn't really go through. Uh, there is a little agitator in the bottom of this. There's a separation, probably about four or five inches, and uh, it would just get too much chaff in there, and then it would block the flow again. And it kept throwing an air saying that my, my spread tank was empty, when in fact it was still pretty well full, but that bottom had, had filled up. Um, so that caused some issues where every time we'd have to land, clean it out, and a lot of times, sometimes just shake it and, and agitate it on the outside, we'd be able to get it done. But that added, every time we landed, that added to it. On top of that, every time you land, that hurts your efficiency with your battery life. Battery life on these devices is still critical. Um, if you can't manage your battery life or, or do it well, you're gonna, you're gonna have issues. Luckily, we were able to go slow enough that we were able to keep up with our batteries until at the very end. Uh, but other than that, it went pretty well. It's done, it's the first time I've done something this fine. Um, but the spread pattern was, was really, really well. The dispersal was great. Really, really pleased with what we saw up there um, as we walked through. Luckily, as you can see, I don't know, hopefully you can see in the distance, there's some snow here, right? So we were able to use the snow cover to kind of get an idea of what is our spread pattern. So we feel pretty confident that we have a good pattern. We have a pretty good rate up there. We know from when we pre-measured everything and calibrated, what we have left over in seed and what we put on the hill, what we should have put on the hill, is pretty close to equal. Um, so, I'm really happy with that. With the flow, I can't promise that it's all in the right spot, 100%, uh, just with the dispersal. But as far as when it flowed well, it, it, it worked very, very well. We got a good, good pattern.